everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Brittany if you are new here and today we are talking about putting away kids laundry. I have found that this is the fastest and easiest way to deal with little kids laundry. So these are the tips that I have come up with from personal experience over the past five, almost six years. I have three little kids. One, my oldest is almost six and my youngest is 17 months. If you're looking for a new routine to cut down on time, you also wanna make sure that your kids' clothes are not gonna look wrinkled. I know some people don't fold their kids' clothes. I personally do like to fold them um, or hang them. Also, yes, I am in my bedroom instead of my laundry room showing this to you because it is late. My kids are in bed. The laundry room is right by their bedrooms and one of them is a really late sleeper. So if I did it over there, he would wake up. So I'm doing it in my room. So my three tips are number one, wash your kids clothes individually by kid. I do have two that do share a room. So I could easily just throw theirs in the laundry together. I don't do that though, because it's so much easier being able to just fold everything kid by kid rather than having everything commingled. And then you're going through every load going, this is for this kid. This is for this kid. This is for this kid. It can just be way too much. So definitely wash them individually by kid will save a lot of time when it comes to folding and sorting after you're done with the load. Also, it won't be such a huge load, so it makes it a little bit less daunting when you do have to go and fold their clothes. Okay, so my second tip, this is exactly what I do. For shirts, whether they're dressy or just a regular long sleeve or even a short sleeve like this, all of their shirts I hang up in their closet. Two of my kids do share a room. That's part of the reason why I hang up all their clothes is because in their closet on one half is one of my child's shirts are all hung up. On the other half is my other child's shirts that are all hung up. Shirts, jackets, sweaters, anything like that I hang up for them on either side of the closet. However, if I was gonna put it in drawers, what I would do is fold it in half long ways like this and then lay it flat. I actually did used to do that um, when they had their separate rooms and separate dressers and all of that. And then for all of their pants and their shorts, I do not hang these up because we wouldn't really have enough space. So I lay them, what I do is I fold them in half once and then I lay them flat. And I do that with all their pants and then I also do the same with the shorts. So typically I'll do like the play shorts separate from like the nicer shorts. I just put them all in a stack for right now, but when I go and lay them in their actual dresser drawers, I'll have two different stacks. You don't have to do that. You can put it all in one stack if you want to. Um, but that is a really easy way to do it. And I do the exact same thing with their pajamas. So the hardest part about going through all their clothes after they're being washed is anything that is just folded inside out. I don't know why, but that happens a lot with pajamas for our, in our house anyway. So really just fold them inside out and then I just fold them in half like that. I pair this up together and lay them flat in their drawers and that's it. So easy. And then the last thing I do, I obviously didn't show like their underwear. I don't fold their underwear either. What I do is I take a little dollar store bin and I lay them flat in there. I don't spend time folding their underwear. There's no reason for it. I guess maybe it would look nice, um, but it's just so easy to just lay it flat in there and they can just grab one or I can just grab one no problem. And the same thing with socks. This is kind of a bad example because for some reason, all the socks in this load got thrown in randomly. Their hampers are next to each other. So sometimes accidentally a sock or a shirt will go into the other one's hamper, but typically they're pretty separated. Um, but what I'll do, let's pretend this was the exact same sock. Obviously I'll fold it like so, and I'll put it in one bin. And then right behind it, I'll have another one for all the mismatched socks then I would put those right behind it. So I just, I know I have all these together. Instead of these and these together all in the same drawer, that can just get really messy. The way I do it now is if they're separate and I do go to find that extra sock that I was missing, then I can easily pair it and put that back into the bin with all the paired up socks. All right, that is all for today's video. I hope you really enjoyed it. If you did, please leave this video a thumbs up. Also feel free to leave a comment below letting us know how you do your laundry. If you have another idea that hasn't been mentioned um, or just a different way of doing things, I'd love to hear your thoughts below. If you are new and you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and subscribe and hit the bell also if you want to be notified of all new videos coming out and I will see you again very soon. And you, and you got me too.